Okay, welcome to Laksha Academy YouTube channel. Okay, today I am going to start new chapter that is breathing and exchange of gases. Okay, we have successfully completed 18 parts in the digestion absorption chapter. Okay, this is the next second chapter breathing and exchange of gases. Okay, in a state test book, this is the uh, 1B. In, for, in state test book, we have 8 units. In first unit, we have A and B. Uh, 1A is a dev. Uh, digestion absorption this is the 1b okay, that is breathing and exchange of gases in NCRT test book in NCRT test book this is the one of the chapter okay uh, in the first year test book in human physiology that is the unit name in that unit uh, in that unit human physiology this is the second chapter breathing and exchange of gases okay today our topic is breathing and exchange of gases Okay, we are going to start part two, one of breathing and exchange of gases part one. Here we are going to cover some topics like aerobic and anaerobic respiration, uh, respiratory organs. Okay, those topics will be covered here. Okay, this is uh, in IP we get four marks question one from this lesson. Sometimes one two marks also. That means either two marks or four marks. Okay, more uh, four marks guarantee. Okay, two marks may question may. Uh, come from this lesson or from the first lesson, uh, digestion absorption. Okay, in neat uh, perspective, okay, we can ex expect two bits from this lesson. That means the weightage is uh, eight marks, two bits in neat exam. Next one, aerobic and anaerobic, the differences between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Okay, you may know uh, uh, the difference between aerobic and respiration. Some of the students may know that. Okay, here complete breakdown of food takes place in aerobic respiration. In anaerobic respiration, incomplete breakdown of food takes place. Complete breakdown of food and incomplete breakdown of food. Next, aerobic respiration requires oxygen. Anaerobic respiration does not require oxygen. Okay, here large amount of energy is produced in aerobic respiration. You can observe here 36 ATP molecule. Here, okay, less amount of energy here. You can observe only 2 ATP molecules of energy is produced here. And it occurs in animals, higher plants and animals. It occurs in bacteria, entamoeba, human uh, RBC and skeletal muscles. You know skeletal, when you do vigorous exercise, in those conditions, in skeletal muscles, anaerobic respiration takes place and lactic acid is formed. In human RBC, human mature RBC of human beings, they do not have mitochondria. Therefore, their anaerobic respiration takes place. Okay, glycolysis occurs in RPC. Okay, next one, uh, uh, Krebs cycle, electron transport chain, they do not occur. Entamoeba histolytica, you learned in first year, intermediate first year. Entamoeba histolytica is a parasite, intestinal parasite, which causes amoebiasis. That is also mitochondria absent. Okay, it is an obligatory anaerobic parasite, obligate. Okay, bacteria, in bacteria also, you know, lactic acid bacteria, which converts milk into curd. Okay, that also performs anaerobic respiration. Okay, these are the equations for aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Okay, aerobic respiration C6H12O6. Uh, this is a glucose formula O2 in the presence of oxygen and oxygen and water, and it is giving okay CO2 12H2 and uh, 36 ATP molecule. These are the end products of aerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration C6H12O6, and which is giving to two molecules of what is the formula of C3H6O3? This is the formula of lactic acid. Two molecules of lactic acid and two molecules of ATP. And here in the anaerobic respiration C6H12O6, that means this is the glucose. Here no oxygen. And it is giving two molecules of alcohol and two molecules of carbon dioxide and two molecules of ATP. Those are differences between aerobic and re anaerobic respiration. Now let us make a survey on respiratory organs uh, in the animal kingdom. Okay, what are the different types of respiratory organs present in the animals belong to Animalia kingdom, also called as Metazoa? <coughs> Sorry. Okay, if you take the protozoans like amoeba, okay, res there are no specific respiratory organs. Respiration occurs through their body surface by diffusion in amoeba, paramecium, which belong to the phylum protozoa. I did not mention the protozoa here. In pori sponges, that means poriferans, and in nidarians or cylindrates, in tenophores, and in flatworms, which belong to platyhelminthes, tenophores, tenophora phylum, 
and nidaria nidaria phylum nidaria nidaria phylum or ciliated phylum in these animal there are no specific respiratory organ here respiration occurs through their body surface by diffusion earthworm earthworm belongs to the phylum which phylum does it belong it belongs to the phylum annelida okay here moist body surface help in respiration cutaneous respiration we can say polychaetes example nearis the okay, earthworm is oligochaete leaf is hyrodinia class they belong to uh, different classes okay next polychaete uh, moist uh, body surface skin as well as parapodia help in respiration parapodia also help in locomotion very very important one leech okay leech has uh, okay the respiration in the leech is through moist skin and in crustaceans like in crustaceans there are respiratory organs crustaceans crustacea is one of the class in the phylum arthropoda okay in crustaceans respiratory organs are the gills and insects and diplopods and chelopods okay tracheal tracheal respiration takes place okay through tracheal system there are tracheal chelopods chelopoda class and diplopoda class and hexapoda class insects belong to the class insecta or hexapoda in those animal there is a trachea of the respiratory organ there is a tracheal system and limulus in limulus respiratory organs are book gills you can observe here uh, book gills okay observe here these are the book gills okay these are the book gills in the limulus king crab which belongs to gyphosura class and you can next one uh, book lungs book lungs can be found in okay spider some spiders and scorpion you can observe here these are the book lungs book lungs are found in palemnius means that is a scorpion book gills are found in limulus king crab okay this uh, palemnius that means uh, scorpion belongs to arachnida class arthropoda phylum and aquatic molluscans they have tinidia or gills tinidia or gills are present here you can observe here this is the mantle cavity in the mantle cavity in the molluscans there is a there are feather like gills okay these feather like gills are called tinidia the spelling of tinidia is this one c t e n i d i a tinidia or gills or the feather like gills okay these are the respiratory organs in some of the animals up to aquatic molluscans can okay, i see uh, some more uh, example terrestrial molluscans have pulmonary sac terrestrial molluscans have pulmonary sac observe here this is the pulmonary sac pulmonary sac pulmonary sac is the respiratory organ in okay in which molluscans pulmonary mollusk next one pila globosa apil snail okay this is the amphibian mollusk okay here both tinidia and pulmonary sac both are present here observe here this is the gill these are the gill feather like gills and this is the pulmonary sac okay in terrestrial in um, amphibian molluscs uh, okay, both tinidia and pulmonary sacs are the respiratory organ now come to the uh, echinodermata okay here dermal papillae or dermal branchiae are present okay observe here these are the dermal branchiae or dermal papillae which are the respiratory organs in okay uh, echinoderms two feet are also respiratory organs here two feet also help in respiration here okay observe here these are the two feet Okay, this is the water vascular system, ambulacral system, which is the unique system of the echinodermate. Here there are two feet, they also help in locomotion, two feet also help in exchange of gases. Observe this, uh, the thin surface of two feet also allows gas exchange. Okay, next, for, uh, next one is the respiratory trees. Okay, you can see the respiratory here, left of respiratory holothuridium. Okay, okay, observe here the respiratory trees are also respiratory organs in okay canoderms next hemicardiata urocardiata cephalocardiata and the pisces okay they have okay the respiratory organs here are the gills okay you can observe here this is the hemicardiata example okay hemicardiata respiration takes place through gills there are gills are present in hemicardiate what is the next one okay hemicardiata after that one uh, urocardiata in urocardiates also you can observe here okay okay cedia acidia salpa doliolum oikoflura okay these are the examples for urocardiata in urocardiates also you can observe pharyngeal slits okay pharyngeal slits are present here okay respiration takes place uh, exchange of gases takes place there and in uh, cephalocardiata 
you can observe here cephalocarded amphioxus lancelet branchiostoma it has gill cells okay these are the respiratory organs in okay these are in these animals in fishes you know gills are present in dipnoi fishes these are called lung fish the respiratory organs here are the respiratory organs here dipnoi fishes gills and lungs and in amphibian larvae and some adults the respiratory organs are gills amphibians larvae and some adults the respiratory organs are gills next one frogs in frogs uh, the respiratory organ respiration takes place through skin cutaneous respiration buccopharyngeal respiration and as well as lungs uh, respiration through lungs is called pulmonary respiration and next one reptiles birds and mammals respiratory organs are lungs tactiles lungs uh, respiration through lungs as well as cloacal respiration occurs here and in human beings in females okay diaphragm plays main uh, important role in females thoracic respiration takes place in males abdominal respiration mainly takes place abdomen is mainly involved here in the respiration process okay these are the different respiratory organs uh, across various animals in the kingdom animalia which is also called as metazoa kingdom okay next we start uh, in the next uh, uh, class i start the human uh, respiratory system in sponges and nidarian cnophores flatworm there is thin uh, there is through body a uh, surface by diffusion earthworm moist skin polychaetes moist skin and parapodia leeches moist skin crustaceans gills insects diplopods and chelopods what are they tracheal system is present limulus book gills are present scorpion spider book lungs are present aquatic molluscans tinidia or gills are present okay what is the next one okay in ter uh, terrestrial molluscans what are present pulmonary sac in phyla uh, which is apple snail both tinidia and pulmonary sac are present echinodermata dermal papillae or branchiae okay uh, two feet respiratory trees help in respiration hemicordata urocordata cephalocardata fishes gills are present dipnoi fishes gills as well as lungs are present these are called lung fish amphibians larvae larva of amphibians as well as some adult amphibians they have gills and frog has cutaneous respiration through skin buccopharyngeal respiration through buccopharyngeal cavity here buccal cavity and pharynx are uh, fused to form buccopharyngeal cavity no palate is here and next lungs respiration through lungs is pulmonary respiration these all take place in adult frog whereas in the larval frog tadpole larva gill respiration gill respiration means branchial respiration takes place okay next one in that uh, reptiles birds and mammals there are lungs are present tadpoles uh, they have lungs and cloacal respiration human beings uh, females uh, okay diaphragm plays an important role here in males uh, there is the abdominal breathing takes place abdominal respiration in males okay that's the end of this part okay next part we start human respiratory system